Welcome back to Von Blues Boxing. What's going on with everybody, man? So I wanted to break some news to y'all. I don't know if y'all seen it yet or not, but I just wanted to break some news. So the WBC has ordered Arthur Perturbiev versus Marcus Browning. So Marcus, so um, I don't know if it will happen or not, but I'm hoping it does because that is a good matchup. It's a good matchup good fight in the light heavyweight division so it would be for arthur perturbiev or better bf perturbiev whatever way you say his man's last name um title marcus browning it would be mandated <clears throat> to get the title shot so um we know about arthur perturbiev currently wbc and i believe ibf light heavyweight champion beat volz off to get that second title off of him uh last fight against denise where he didn't look you know, his best, I won't lie. Perturbiev did not look his best, but he still ended up getting a stoppage, getting a win. Didn't look his best. Um, Perturbiev has been one of the better light heavyweights for the past couple of years. Only issue with Perturbiev is, could, you know, sometimes Perturbiev is inactive. You know, he doesn't fight as much as I think some of us fight fans would like him to. But when he does, he always puts on a good show. Um, man's been around for a while. But um, let me get into Marcus Browning. Now, Marcus Browning is 30 years old. I believe he's 6'1", 6'2", you know, young, the, pretty young as far as, like, you know, in his kind of physical prime right now. Only has one loss on his career. He beat Castillo, who Bivol beat. Um, he beat Badu Jack. And he also, he lost to John Pascal in a fight that I felt like he was winning. He hurt Pascal, but Pascal caught him with... An excellent punch and got him out of there so um what's that called so marcus browning that's his only loss in his career so marcus brown is pretty good light heavyweight he's one of those guys that's kind of been forgotten about because you know he had took almost two years off after that loss um he came back he beat dennis krachev i believe krachev that's how you say his last name beat him you know just to kind of come back get back in the win type of fight, won a unanimous decision. So, you know, here's his opportunity to prove himself at the top level once again. You know, he beat Badu Jack. He was giving Pascal hell. So he is a top, like, heavyweight. But he kind of got forgotten, you know, with that two-year layoff and that loss to Pascal. So here it is, his opportunity against one of the toughest guys you could fight at 175 pounds, the unified champion, Arthur Berturbiev. Um, I think it's a hell of a fight. I know that Perturbiev is with top rank in ESPN right now, and Marcus Browning is with the PBC and Al Heyman, but I think that fight could happen because Perturbiev does have a relationship with Al Heyman. So I don't think it would be as hard to make that fight. I don't think it's going to be a lot of push and shove if that's the route Perturbiev or Marcus Browning want to go. I think it should because if Perturbiev is not going to fight Bivol, you know what I'm saying? That's not a bad fight to have, you know? I mean, outside of, I mean, there's some other guys, you know, outside of Bivol, we, I wouldn't mind seeing him, like, him and Badu Jack fight each other, but um, I actually have no problem with Paterby of taking on Marcus Browning. I think that would be a really, really good fight if that can happen. I think it's going to be fun and interesting. I think it's a fight that both fighters can win. I mean, Paterby would be the fight, favorite in that fight, but I do think that Marcus Browning, has a real realistic chance in that fight i truly do he has some skills and he has some things that he could do and possibly pull that fight off but we don't know but i just think that's a good fight and i hope it happens i think you know i really really hope that fight happens because that's a good matchup and if perturbia is not gonna fight bivol you know that's another that's the next best option if you ask me so um i don't know if it's gonna happen that hasn't been ordered it's just been ordered by the wbc you know sometimes things get ordered and they don't happen but we don't know so let's just cross our fingers and hope that this fight happened guys i just wanted to get that out there to y'all if y'all didn't know um the wbc has ordered arthur perturbia versus marcus browning for the wbc lightweight 175 pound title i don't know if the ibf private title will be online it might be so we might have you know Marcus Browning might have an opportunity to get two titles. So we'll see if it happens. Just, you know, stay tuned. Just kind of wanted to break that to y'all if y'all did not know about that. So, uh, yeah, that's it, man. You know, Von Blues Boxing. I'm out.